Hi guys, Rob from Xbox Auto here today. We've fitted this lovely Android 11 system into a BMW Z4 2013 model. Now we do do them for the older version, but as you can see, this looks smart as. So it works into the car's auxiliary, so obviously that's where your sound goes through. So obviously to make sure that the car's got auxiliary in there, but most cars of this age do have it. So as you can see, it looks smart, looks clean, crisp. Uh, so I'm just going to give you a, a, a short video on how it works and what it looks like and what sort of features it got. Now I will warn you, I haven't set up the Wi-Fi or the Bluetooth with my phone so some of the apps on here are not going to be uh, functional uh, but if you want more information on how they look and what it looks like we've got some videos, other videos on our channel, our YouTube channels which will show you how CarPlay looks and uh, some of the features that you need an internet connection with. So that's the um, home page. What you can see at the moment is um, it's split into two big boxes and some icons down the side. Also, you can sh scroll across to there, and there's some of the features of the system. So, this one is navigation, uh, self explanatory. So, obviously, um, it comes with Google Maps pre installed, but you can also download others from the Play Store, such as Waze, Copilot, Citic. Tom Tom, and um, once they're on the system, you can assi assign them to that navigation application. There, as you can see, Google Maps set up um, nice big screen 10.25 inch. Uh, this communication part here is for your phone, so obviously, you take your hands free through there. So, basically, you can connect your uh, phone to it and upload your phone, uh, your phone book, should I say? Sorry. Um, so as I say, I haven't got nothing connected at the moment, but it just gives you an indication of what it looks like. Unknown song, this is the MP3 centre of the system, and also the HD video, so where you watch your movies. Now this is where you would be able to put a USB pen drive into the system, and uh, play all your files from there. So I'll just show you basically, is, uh, these are demos, these are anyone which is on the system. Uh, you can get full screen which is obviously there so as you can see HD so looks amazing if you, if you ask me so um, there you go on that one so let's have a go to here okay so the car info this one is where normally you would normally get your um, your original uh, BMW menu but because obviously this what didn't have a, a CIC screen today or on MBT it doesn't have a menu to show so obviously there's nothing to show on there um, but obviously other cars that does have the original screen the original menus the iDrive, drive it would show in that, uh, that icon there dashboard so this is where it shows some of the information you can change the color on this if you wish I'll leave it on red because I spoke Liverpool so this is where it'll show you your revs and your speed as you can see I'm, I'm on the accelerate at the moment uh, but um, as the left dial is not going to show anything because I'm not driving. Okay, um, let's have a little look down the left hand side. These two apps are pretty much on the home screen. Let's go into applications. So this is where you would download um, your app from the Play Store, which would uh, go into this here. Um, we've preloaded it with Netflix today. Now you can't get that from the Play Store because there's a block on it. Just because the um, I don't think Netflix likes car DVDs to be honest with you, so obviously we pre-install that for you. But we can do other applications which is part of the pre-install um, that we put on there before we put it in the car. So what we do is join our own installs so obviously ask you what you want and then we'd preload them on there for you just for ease of use when you want to just take, take the car home. So it's all ready and set up for you. Now because we sell these units and we supply them fit, what it is you're getting a full experience from start to finish so and if anything goes wrong you don't pay a penny a lot of installers will strip your car down if there's god forbid there's any issues or the, your system's not compatible for whatever reason or another then they'd still charge you for the labor we don't do that because we sell these units we do a lot of diligence before we make the sale take, take the sale should i say we get your pictures and stuff like that and we do the checks to make sure that the unit will fit your car and there's no issues further down the line so <coughs> excuse me first one is settings which i'll go into last uh, the next one along is play store this is where you take your um your, your google play store and this is how you, where you download your applications uh, this one is google maps here which i showed you before the equalizer is the built-in 
uh, DSP sound center, which you can allows you to customize the sound on the external amplifier. Uh, Chrome, this is a browser, which obviously you want to do some internet searching, user feedback, not really gonna go into that one. Voice search, this is another Google application, which obviously you can speak to it. So if you wanted to go somewhere like Liverpool, you could speak to it and it would uh, find the Google search on whatever you're searching for. It's not gonna work because it's not connected to my Wi-Fi, but you can see it picking up my voice at the moment. So if I wanna search a song, as I said, I can do that and then Google will find it for me. But as I said, it's not gonna work today because my Wi-Fi is not connected. Okay, Google here, which is obviously another browser. So obviously you can do Google search. APK installer is the red one. It's to download third-party applications so if you've got an APK that you sourced elsewhere than the um, Google Play Store then you can download it through there. ADAS is relevant to DVR, camera, GPS antenna is to do with uh, GPS signals, user guide, ES browser. This is a DVD uh, application. Netflix, uh, self-explanatory, Z-Link is your car playing Android Auto so obviously that's where you link your phone through there to one of them features and the DAB Z is the DAB application. Now the DAB application there will link to our offline DAB that we sell for $39.99 but I'll be truthful with you, just download the DAB app to your phone and it'll play through the CarPlay uh, the Android Auto onto the system. So that sums it up today, hope you're happy with the video and if you've got any more questions, any questions whatsoever, get in touch with us by dropping a comment on the uh, thread here or get in touch with us on icebox.com. Thanks very much, take care.